it's a very controversial topic that one could tap energy that's right in front of us, uh, the vacuum fluctuations. It's normally be believed by the standard scientific community that it is impossible to do that. Uh, most academic people never even heard of it. And we have to go to the physics community to, to, find, to find literature on it. And it was from that literature that I learned that it's possible, that it might be possible under certain conditions that this energy could act, be activated and participate in a coherent fashion, typically with plasmas, especially abruptly pulsed plasmas that produce vortex rings like plasmoids. And sure enough, there was evidence in the scientific literature that appeared to be trapping excess energy in these forms. And then the question came, how can we really get to the, get to the energy and use it in a practical system? I actually believe every physical problem of humanity uh, can be solved by a, a breakthrough energy. Yes, I will be presenting and be focusing on the uh, water electrolyzer projects. I believe uh, there's a secondary gas in addition to hydrogen being produced. The secondary gas uh, contains, it's a water cluster that seems to trap and cohere the zero point energy. And the goal is to really prove that, to prove that we have a new energy source arising from the water electrolyzers. And I prefer that project because it's so easy to do. It really offers the opportunity for massive replication coming from the hobbyist community, or at least by the inventing community, that uh, successfully demonstrates an energy device that spreads amongst the community so that uh, no one can suppress it. Eventually, a student will bring it to his professor. The professor will be open-minded. There's a few of them that are. And then they, in turn, will contact our colleagues. And as we breach academia that this is really, really possible, uh, it will spread through the academic community. At that point, I believe the engineers come on board and we can engineer devices around the discovery of the new energy spread. So having a movement, a large movement of, of like minds who wish to share the information, who wish to do the experiments, who are willing to pursue an idea that's outside of the standard paradigm is absolutely necessary for the, for the world to have a new energy source. Thank you.